Hello, my name is Nick Stanley, a technical support engineer with Go Engineer, and today I would like to go over with you the process of setting a technology database onto a network drive. I'll cover this process for both CAMWorks and SOLIDWORKS CAM. The process will be practically identical, but I think it shows a good example that multiple users can link to the same database. To start, you will need to have or create a shared network location. I've got mine set up already. The next thing we're going to do is copy the database that you're using, or the default database, if this is a new installation. The place that the techdb.cwdb file is located is going to be C, CAMWORKS data, CAMWORKS year x64, techdb, and then you'll find your techdb.cwdb file. This process will be for CAMWORKS. For SOLIDWORKS CAM, it'll be the C drive, program data, SOLIDWORKS, SOLIDWORKS CAM year, techdb, and there you'll find your techdb.cwdb file. Now we're going to copy the techdb.cwdb file to the network drive. This will be the location that our CAMWORKS or SOLIDWORKS CAM will look. Let's start with CAMWORKS and launch the technology database. We're going to select the Settings tab and make sure that Link is selected. Select the Browse button and a dialog will appear. We're going to route to the new TechDB location and select Open. Once it says that the database link is successful, we are done. For SOLIDWORKS CAM, we will launch the technology database and select the Settings tab and make sure to set it to Link and browse to the same location. Once it says that the database link is successful, we are finished. This is a good example of the fact that multiple CAMWORKS slash SOLIDWORKS CAM programs can be connected to the same database. The benefit of doing this is that when an edit is made from one program, you will see it on the other. This allows everyone to be on the same page. This also demonstrates that you can link both CAMWORKS and SOLIDWORKS CAM to the same database. I hope you found this video useful and have a wonderful day.